This week, we're trying something different. Normally, I plan well in advance when I go thrifting or to an estate sale, and I plan on spending the whole day and making a video out of it. But this week, we are going more frequently over the course of everyday life, just 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time. And the test is, will we still find good things? Will we do better if we go more frequently? Or is it better to plan it as an event? What do you do? I'd love to know in the comments. I used to do this before I had a YouTube channel. I would just go as often as I could and whenever and just squeeze it in. And I did really well that way. But once I had to start making videos, I started to plan it more. So you let me know what you think. I will tell you, I went everywhere. I went all over the place multiple times throughout the course of the week. It's a fun video to watch. Please enjoy. And as usual, there will be a haul at the end of the video and there will be links in my YouTube shop underneath the video if you see anything that you like. Stay with me. This is the pink window that I heard so much about. I like the flowers. Um, the hat's cute. That's a cute hat. I like how they blended the turquoise. Let's see what's on this side. Oh, and then this is just beach and ocean theme. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. It's like someone made that or something. Right, no, it's a copy of the ones that people were making. That's nice. All right, making my way over to the jewelry. Sweet birds. Oh, look at these. Carved lucite. Yeah. That's fun. Very fun. Okay. Some good bags back here. And... Usually I check the cases first. That's kind of fun. Painted wood. Sometimes there's painted Bakelite that you need to be aware of. That's pretty. Just glass. This one's older. Nice old hook there. That looks like silver. And I don't like the, uh, the thing itself. Oh, this is old Monet. They moved it. It was, it's funny. Maybe somebody bought it and it came back. Hmm. Little plastic chandeliers. Those are stone. These are interesting. Here's the one, not really seeing anything. These are older, but nothing. Nope. Nope. No. Nothing there. Okay. Leather. It's memory. Okay. Oh. No. Okay. Let's have a look in the case. Okay, so this is the sterling. We've got some bangles, some glass rings, a lot of Alex and Annie over there. Various watches. That's a uh, contemporary sort of, oh, I like the Druzy ring. Oh, I like, actually I like all these rings. These are fun. I'm gonna look at those. This, this tray right here. Thank you. Okay, so that's a Druzy. That's eight. Is it a real Druzy or a fake Druzy? I don't know. That's definitely a real Druzy, but it's not great quality. This is interesting. This is giving me Valetudi vibes. It's probably costume because they have eight on it. And then this is super fun little trinket for eight. All right, I'm gonna check this one with the loop. 
it always pays to look because when I got a close-up look of it, I saw that these are kind of glued down. So it's nothing. All right, you can have all those back. Let's see what's in here. There's some Monet in there, but nothing outrageous collector. Oh, I like the leaves. It's pretty. It's very costume though, but pretty. And it's not vintage enough. Like, I like vintage costume, unique things with age, things that were made better. Majestic pins. Okay, nothing. Oh. The tassel. We should look at the... No. No, it's not. For a second, I thought it was Dior. Dior had a tassel, but it is not that one. It says White House Black Market, so we will put that back. And it looks like I'm striking out today. Yeah, that's uh, nothing. Nothing over there. I like the mirror for $14. That's pretty nice. Very lightweight. Very contemporary. It's some high quality crystal, but it's with this cheaper rhinestone chain, so definitely more contemporary. Now, I even on the way here this morning, I was wood. If I can take the left out of my driveway, okay. What is this? Oh, that's like no. This is good leather, but it's very, oh, it's so cool. What does it say? Oh, Amy, um, Kastenberg, right? Yeah, it's, um, it's dingy. So, I like the big hat. Do you see the big hat? Let's, let's have a look at the big hat. That's, that looks very promising. Okay, so this is adorable. Adorbs. And it is made by a San Diego hat company. It's from the top. It's a great, it's a great hat. Oh, I just wanted to quickly check. Sometimes their scarves are really, really good. Polyester, polyester. This is a cool belt. Look at that, that is old. And climb. That's fantastic. They don't make them like this anymore, and it's a really good size. That's a score. How much is this? Five dollars. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> no, that's not anything. This we've seen before. That's Chico's. The stretch belt. These are cool vintage. I like this one. That's unique. That is unique. Um, but I've just seen so many in my day that, okay, this is, uh, see, not the same quality. See the difference between this is new, that's bonded leather. This is old, that is not bonded leather. I just looked down and I saw this. This is like a leather portfolio from the 70s, maybe? Let's have a look. Is it leather? I think it is. Yeah, nice lining. Three dollars. Can't see what it says. Moment. It says Cheryl Miller Genuine Leather. It's really quite a nice portfolio clutch. We will get that. Okay, that was fun, 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 fun. I enjoyed it. I love this place. Look at the cute bicycle. Okay, we're heading over to the barn now, which is where they keep some more antique finds. Um, well, actually, the barn is the big space. There's a shop with the furniture section and then the barn. And you just never know. The barn is exciting just as a space. And sometimes the furniture that they keep, you know, they also will stage it with, like, better antiques. So we'll have a walk over, see what they have. Oh, look at this beautiful trunk. Look, it's got quilted upholstery. That's awesome. It's $200. It has some. Um, that's nice. Let's look at the front. 
Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, I love this. I don't have any kind of space for it. $65, that's awesome. This is more my cup of tea. Now look at this. This leather color restored, restore used on footstool. So they restored the footstool, but not this. And it's actually a shame because this is really old. This is old and this is something you can't buy. And it's like restoration hardware will sell patina, you know, leather that looks like this for $5,000 because it has this look and this is made this way over decades, but they did it. <laughs> so, and it's only $75. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's such a find. If you're local, come and get it. Great table for $15. Nice, nice casters. Oh no, those are legs. This is nice. You see this brass? This is good. That's a good one. Oh, look at the spinner. Oh, look at that. Oh, they've got some good stuff right now. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, this is $30. This is so nice. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> it's a good time to be here. I think it's because the weather has been... All right, let me get into a corner so you can see this space. Look at that. Such a space. I'm going to head over. Ooh, Wow. This is something. How much is this? Roseville pedestal base with pot as is. Oh, there's the pot. 65. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Not going to get it. It's not my niche, but I know a deal when I see it. Okay, so I'm going to head on over to some other thrift store now. Try and get this video together. Stay with me. It's yard sale day at the church in Blairstown, and I cannot pass up a church sale, and I stumbled upon this one. I didn't know it was going to be here. Looks like they also have stuff inside, so let's go inside first. Oh, tripod. Wow, this is $3. I'm going to get this. Let me just make sure it seems Ooh, nice and cool in here. Okay, lamps. Queens and art. Cat mural. <laughs> Ooh, these are handmade. I'm very into like the um, sewing stuff lately. I think these are trivets. This is handy. I'm about to get my space. So, ooh, what is that? This is someone's, oh, it's a fabric scrap. It's beautiful. This is nice. I'll get that. It's probably like a dollar or something, but it's so nice for a background for jewelry. I love it. That's gold silk. Hmm. This is a real church sale. This is the kind where you dig, dig, dig. Sonoma. It's a great blue. It's the color of my cowboy boots. I like it. It's in good shape. It's really nice leather. Um, I'm going to get that. Oh, the uncandle, still in its box. These are so fun. You put like um, oil in there. That's fun. We have uh, muffin candles. <laughs> no, no, no. Lots of cardinals. Nice. I feel like I can use these. All right, let me make a, ooh, what is that? heavy. It's $25. Oh, it's, uh, 
it's a prep deck. That's impressive. That's kind of incredible. Wow, we're, wow, wow, wow. Okay, don't need it. Hope someone who needs it can get it. I'll grab these. Water? No, I'm good. Thank you. But you do. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Let's get it without the glare. Look, that's bullion stitch. That's beautiful. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this. And then what is this? I don't ever buy dolls. Something tells me I should buy this one. I'm going to look at it. Okay, so when I picked this up, I felt something hard under there. And this is what I pulled out. Look at this. From Shirley, from May 8th, 1983, Mother's Day. Porcelain Perot. I'm going to get it. How much could it be at a church sale? I just paid and I didn't realize that there was this clothing here. Look what I found. It's a pink raincoat from Land's End. It's totally vintage. And it's a 14, so probably, and it's so fresh. I mean, the thing about raincoats is that they have to be crisp, you know, fresh. And it's so timeless, so I'm gonna get that. It's probably, I don't know, it's probably at most $3. And I was six miles away from the Knowlton Church Community Thrift Store, so I figured I might as well come here. I'm not going to be coming to Blairstown that often anymore, so I'm going to check it out. Let's see if there's any jewelry to collect or resell. Oh, I already see. I already see something. Hello. Okay, there's earrings stuck to it. They're '80s earrings, which are fantastic, also. Um, but you see that with the tassels? Okay. Five dollars. Yes, yes, we shall take that. I wish there was another, another red earring. I'll keep looking. Oh, look at all this. Newer, nice. Older, kind of a Monet thing. See that clasp? These are plastic. This is an eyeglass holder. Bracelets. Much. Nothing, nothing. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't think it's a necklace. I think it's like an ornament that went on something. Three strander. Okay, we'll put that. We'll put that somewhere else. Dyed halite. No, uh, that could be turquoise. We'll, we'll check that. I think it's an unspoken thing with Darian. One retired, the other dress was in Germany. Um, it's not really Christmas. Look at this tree. I love this tray. I feel like that could be older. Yeah. Oh, display only. Okay, display only. All right, I gotta find a little dish. I still have to go through these. Twelve dollars. Yeah, it's not. Uh -oh. It's not my niche. I will pass on it. Okay, Ooh, baby. Look at all of this. I don't even know where to start. Ooh. Hi. Earrings, a dollar a pair. I will take those for a dollar. I actually broke my hand. 
Mm -hmm. Ooh, fused glass, but not necessary. Hand woven beaded. 80s. Those are real. We'll take those. Silver and turquoise and crystal. These are pretty, but we don't need them. Don't need them. Ooh. This is good. These are screw backs. It says something. Let me check it. So these are signed star, and they're really beautiful. And star is a good name to find, but I'm going to leave them. Um, just because they're, you know, they're not like inspiring enough. That's my stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was for display, like people. <laughs> I've been this gathering. This is so cute, this little tree. <laughs> I like these. $2. We'll get those for a dollar. Interesting. It's a static way. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Different. Why not? I like the lever backs, but not necessary. I found a little quiet spot in the craft room. Upon closer inspection, I can see that that is dyed halolite, and um, it's someone put it together. See the, the string there? So that's a no. This one I wanted to check because sometimes these are really nice old Monet. This is not. This is probably a made in Korea, and it is uh, fading, so that's a no. These on closer inspection are a little chipped, so that's a no. These, <laughs> they're like super cheap accessory store, but I love them. They might be H&M. Anyway, I love them. I'm going to get them. These I looked at and um, I saw a mark. There is a mark on there. Let me get, let me show you this one. Can't quite make it out, but I know it's there. So I'll try and get a close-up of it. They're really pretty. And then this, um, this is really good quality. It's not, it doesn't have a name. Um, no one, it's, uh, but it does have the old spring ring clasp. Oh, did this just come apart? In the, yeah, okay. So there's the old spring ring clasp. Um, I'm not offended by having to relink that. This is really good quality. So that's a yes. And then of course this whole thing, I mean you could even do like one red, one blue. This is this is a score right here, this necklace with the tassel. So this is what we're getting and this is what we're not getting. I actually really like this blouse. I have been coming here more often because my car is suddenly unreliable. So I've just been trying to go to my local places more frequently, which is a good study. That's a cool mirror because there is a strategy to thrifting. If you go to the same place often enough, you don't have to look at the stuff you've already seen and you can catch the new things. So we'll see how that holds up. This is cute. The old curiosity shop. This looked better from farther away. Oh, this is nice. I feel like I just saw one of these in Danny's estate sale. The niche lady. I'm not sure enough. Mikasa. It's probably, I feel like it's Mikasa. All right, let's get to the jewelry. All right. See, this I saw last time, so I don't have to look at that again. This is new, but modern, so no big deal. This is new. Feels like glass. All right. 
Yep, all of that I've seen before. This one's new. That's a more modern version. Okay. That's a stretch. That looks like leather, like the old um, made in Florence, but it's oh no, it's not oh no, it's not a stretch, it's um magnetic, so no. This one's good. We'll get that. That's fun. And these are good as extenders when you need them um, to extend some of the strands. Oh, I also see art glass here. We'll have a closer look at that with the loop. And can I see the little heart back? Uh, can I see this tray? Thank you. Okay. It's a little garnet in there. Right, I need my loop. This is something I've never seen before. It's marked Avon 925. So you learn something every day. And it is, they are asking $18, but I'm going to leave it. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. And this will definitely get $4. I see some nice bracelets. I'm very, in actually, um, can I see the earrings that say 15 Yes. And this cuff. And the cuff, this cuff, yeah. And the cuff that looks like it has a little yellow stone. It's like very thin. Yes. Okay, that I feel like I should be able to read, but alas. I can't read this. Okay, that's like um, a pewter. We can leave that. These, I think, are beautiful. That's a good deal for $15. Yeah, it just says 925 India. Lovely. We'll get that. Um, let's see what's here. These are nice. These are nice. Those are nice. I'll check those. Looks like they just put out a bunch of earrings. These look really well made and I can kind of see a mark, so we'll check those with the loop. I'm just kind of feeling the backs now with my hands going through everything and also checking the posts to see if they look like they're gold, if the earrings are gold or silver. I suspected these to be real sterling, and if they are, that's blue topaz, so we gotta look at those. It's fiber optic. Oh, the black no, flowers. They're heavy, I like them now. I'll check those. And the last one. Right there on a sterling hook. These look like sterling and smoky topaz. That could be really nice. That could be like a smoky. Pretty. Nice hook on those. Yeah, they just put out a whole bunch of earrings, cousin, eh? Yes, I think these are Avon too. Pretty, pretty. Oh, crazy. This could be good. And yeah, we'll check those. Okay, we'll just do a quick scan here, see if there's anything new. That's from last time. That's from last time. These are from last time. This is new. This is, uh, that's a gemstone. That is very, very nice. Get some blue glass there. Six, six dollars. Yes, we'll get it. Okay, so the system, so that's a definite yes. So the system is sort of uh, working as planned. Okay. That, yep, that's all been looked at. This, yes, this is new. And you can clearly see that texture back there. That means like new costume, not vintage costume. This is cool. I wonder what it says. 
we'll look at that. That's I just think it's cool. Strung on cord that goes through. Yeah, we don't need it. All right. This nice quality. Uh, looks better than it feels. Now, this is a different glass. No, same glass. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, wow. I haven't seen anything like that. Ooh, this is fun. This is a faux turquoise. Chaps. Oh, look at that. That's a Ralph Lauren brand. That's awesome. That's $5. All right. That's pretty. Someone like their blue. This is very um, fake vintage. It's supposed to look vintage. It's not. See the class with the. Uh... Oh, it's actually two lobster claws. So that's an eyeglass chain. When you see two lobster claws like that, that's um, that's meant to be something else, like a lobster. Like often, oh, that's pretty. That has some age to it. All right. So let's check the earrings. This is the first one I picked up, and this really looks like good silver to me. See that? There's almost like a little saint or something, and it's also on the other side, so really well done. So I pulled out my magnet, and I went like this, and it's not magnetic. So we're going to say that that is silver and possibly a little gemstone, so we'll get that. And as long as I have my magnet out, I might as well just check the others. Not making it. I got a good feeling about those. That's magnetic. I'll put that one back. Not magnetic. We'll check that. So we have we have checking. No, maybe. Oh, this is already a yes. That we know. Okay, so the the yes we already know. So that'll go there with those. And these are check. No, maybe. All right. Then we got the. The black flowers. I have to check these for a signature. I think they're cool. Yes. Not magnetic. I'm sure they're costume, but we'll, we'll check them for a signature. Those will check. I like the way these were made. And I own earrings that are diamonds that look like that so we'll check and also someone went to the trouble of putting patches on the hooks so that's a sign and then these i just thought were cool looking and they're very magnetic so okay so we'll just say no to those i don't need those we'll say no to those three and further look at these okay so this is how you do it so these i did check i did not see any mark but look at them they look really really good so those remain a yes and then I went over everything else with the magnet, right? And then I did a second scan looking for marks. And I took one off of each card. So these were $4. And I took it off and I examined it. And there is the mark. And then these are $4. And there is the mark right there. And these are $5, and I turned it over and I looked at it, and it's just a nice silver plating, so that we don't need to make. And then these, I really liked the style of them, and I took it off and looked at it, and I realized someone made it. See the glue? So those we don't need today. And then these, I took it off and examined it, and I believe this is like a premier design for something, so we don't need that. And then finally... A lovely score. I'm sure that's Smoky Topaz. This is, they were five dollars and it is marked 925 silk. So these are yes, these are yes, and these are yes, as well as these. And these beautiful necklaces with um, uh, like beautiful faux turquoise, fine halolite or something, or reconstituted, and this gorgeous thing.
I don't know how I missed these. These are RLM, but we'll get those too. So we have now five pairs of really good earrings and okay. two necklaces. Not bad. You really can find things. Oh, what's this? No, I don't need it. Okay, so I am now behind Trinity Thrift for at least, I think it's the third day, the, the third or fourth day in a week. And the question is, how do you do if you go more often? Does it make sense? Are you more productive? Do you find better things? Do you find the new things? Is it faster? And I'm just looking in the window and there's this really cute little blouse. Let me see if I can get it. This blouse right here. I'm going to check it. I'm going to check the jewelry first. Nope. That's because, see that? That's, I was hoping it was like a Swarovski, but it would have a clip back instead of just a, a silver tone post. And I am noticing the new things. So this might really be working. See, I'm able to go and recognize what I looked at before. And like this, that I recognize. So nice. These. So I think those are from last time. That's new. Oh, I'm going to look at that more closely. Yes. Okay, so that has a great mark. 95 with initials. Beautiful. Could have really nice stones in it, which we will discuss after I leave. $12. Yes. And then these, kind of a very yellow tiger eye. You get those. I think that's silver. Number party activities. Oh, this looks, oh. That's nice leather, and that is a nice chain element, nice kiss lock. Look, this is quality all day long. What does it say? Oh, I can't tell, but I love it. It is $4. I think this is useful. I think people will, oh, yeah, look at how useful this is. Okay, we'll get that. Beautiful, beautiful leather. This is the first thing I got on day two. All of the accessories and small little objects like the doll and the peacock and everything will be for sale in my YouTube shop underneath the video. But the jewelry will be auctioned off. I have auctions twice a week here on YouTube on this channel, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. If you would like a free alert when I go live with an auction or a sale or a pop-up, text 917-809-7250. Just text Hello Dawn to 917-809-7250 and you will get a free alert. There's no spam, it's my real phone number. This will be coming up this is beautiful. This is actually 1960s. I think it's Monet or Trafari. Look at that tassel. Um, I'm sure I can find out and attribute it correctly, but the quality is fantastic. This is actually getting more rare and hard to find. So this was a real score and I saw it when I walked in the door. These are just really fun. You know, I collect Lucite, so I will be keeping these for a while. And then eventually they might make it into the case in the Good Stuff Thrift Store. I have a case there. They have like a vintage market and um, also they're a thrift store. In Las Vegas on North Decatur, I send things there for my case uh, twice a month. These are beautiful sterling silver. These look very Sundance to me. I like this. They are marked 925. They are faceted turquoise. Who does not love faceted turquoise? This is the first thing I got on day three. 
This is a really cool uh, 1980s faux pearl and crystal bracelet. I like using these as extenders as well as uh, sort of shortener keepers when I'm wearing multi-layers. These are gorgeous. These are not peridot. I was sure they were. There's the mark, 925 India, and they are not testing as peridot. They are testing as glass. But look at the beautiful workmanship. This bangle was the next thing that I found, and that is a faux gemstone testing as glass. These, I feel like, were the score of the whole week. These are old sulpadas. These are smoky topaz and citrine. Look at them. They're beautiful. These will go so well if you collect Lori Bond, as I do. Um, this will go really well with a lot of the Lori Bond um, necklaces, chains, extenders, pendants. Look how beautiful. I love the citrine in there. These I just fell in love with. Can you see that sort of little cameo? And I did check the drop. They are crystal. They are not gemstone. But look at the detail. And that is on both sides. And those are sterling. These are beautiful. This is another one that I consider sort of the score of the week. I know that Sajin made styles that look like this. Um, I can't say that it is for sure, but what I can tell you is that this is aqua. There is aqua in here and Larimar and blue glass. And it's beautiful on, it has a lot of presence so easy to wear and timeless and seasonless. Then we have the Ralph Lauren chaps. This is not howlite. This is faux turquoise. This is an acrylic or a resin and it's marked chaps and that is vintage and it's on a leather and a waxed cord loop. These are beautiful quality. This is 925. Looks like it's got uh, some kind of platinum or rhodium plating. And those are CZ, beautiful graduated drops. There's the side, these are wonderful. And then the last thing I found on day three, these are like new, these are RLM Soho. There's the mark. And these I will probably offer at uh, or give away at next week's auction. Day four. First thing, sterling silver and tiger eye, a really good yellow tiger eye. Once again, these are wonderful. Those will be coming up. This is a wonderful, look at how it's made. I had to check it and make sure it wasn't diamonds because it's made so well. That is CZ and it's on a beautiful sterling chain. I just realized I forgot. This is from, this is actually from day two. And it's such wonderful quality. Look how beautiful that is. That'll be coming up. I also got this. This is marked stainless steel. This is really well made. It's on this oversized clasp. This functions as a pendant loop or an extender loop. How cool is that? And that is dyed halolite. These are so nice. I just can't believe they're not blue topaz. Look, they've got a lot of hallmarks in there. They really look like blue topaz. They are not testing as blue topaz, but they're beautiful, heavy, well-made sterling silver earrings. So, and those will be coming up. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the links for everything else. Bye.